All right, let's talk about tack welds for a second here. Let's say you're going to be moving some metal and uh, you're worried about the worried about it moving. So you put a couple of tack welds on. Tack welds are great because they're fast, not very much material, and it can also be really strong. But there's a downside. It's only strong one to one direction. So if I put this on here, the welds on this side. So if I pull this way, the welds going to hold. But as soon as I push the other way, there's nothing on this side holding it. It's just going to break right off. So you can see that, and then you can look down here. You can see, you know, this side I had better penetration. That side not quite as much. Uh, but that was strong enough for what we were doing. Now, I'll show you another piece. But this has two tack welds on this side, so just like last time. But now I put one tack weld on this side. And now you're going to see how much stronger this is. So this will bend. <laughs> but it won't break. And you can see the mill scale coming off on this. That's stressing, that's stressing the metal, uh, it's not the weld. So moral of the story is, if you're gonna be moving something and you want, you know, you don't wanna do the full weld yet because you you know, need to move it and check to see if it's in the right spot or something, uh, do a couple of tack welds, one on the other side, and you should be really good, really happy with it. And one other thing, if you need to, cut off and adjust it and move the metal around, it's way easier to do that with a tack weld than it is with a full weld. So definitely go with tack weld.